Okay folks, welcome. I'm just going to be showing you today how to set up an assignment where your students have to submit an audio file back and using Google Classroom. So this might be for say a languages class, French or English, possibly another type of class in the idea where you need to hear them dictate something or this is just maybe a form of something you offered for them to submit something. So. The idea is we're going to create an assignment, then I'm going to flash you to my phone halfway through and show you the student perspective on how they might be able to record their voice and then submit that. And then I'll come back and show you what it looks like when you receive it. So we're going to go to our digital tutorials classroom here. And you might know there's this stream here and there's also classwork. Highly recommended don't use this to post assignments I don't think you're even able to but you can attach files and stuff don't do that when you do an assignment you want to go to classwork because it'll be more organized you can sort it into lists and topics and it's just all together a bit better that way so we're gonna go create an assignment now as you might have read the dialogue there we have a few different options so I'm just going to go on here and say it's the audio assignment test submission. This is a good idea because you want your students to essentially do a test submit. So you want to do this so then they can see, hey, I can send this in and they know it. And if there's an issue, you can go and figure it out before they actually have to send the assignment in. If this isn't an option for you, that's okay. It's just an idea. So it's a good idea to make the test submission then in the instructions you can do some instructions say this is your test submission now you have the option to put all of your instructions there or you can attach a PDF or a Google Docs file so they can view that instead a lot of teachers will do a mixture you do a basic idea here and then you can add something so this gives you the option at the bottom to either create a Google file using one of their various products or you can attach a file through the add button so there's attach you can put a link a YouTube video or a Google Drive file now I already created just a basic Google Docs file here that I'm gonna add so when you click on Google Drive you'll have all your various things just fire find your file and add it now with this, you have the option of students can view, students can edit, or make a copy for each student. You're going to want to do view when it's instructions like this. When we go to the right side, you can pick if you want to do this in multiple classrooms, you can select multiple classrooms to do this in, or just leave it at the one. Also if you have, I don't have multiple students, but if you have multiple students, you could actually do a adapted or essentially a different assignment for an individual and just exclude them from the main one and include them in a new one you can make them the same name and just have different requirements for it so that's a choice if you only want certain students to do this points wise you can pick whatever you want 100 that works you can do 104 you can do ungraded which is sometimes cool because with ungraded it allows essentially when you're looking at the grade side there's no grade for it but you get a check mark if they sent it in and an X if they didn't um, I'm just gonna say 10 for now due date you should pick a due date you can select whatever date so I'm gonna do today but the big part is if you add a due date put a time in even if you just want it by the end of the day if you just click on time it'll automatically put 11:59 in and then you're done you need to do this because there is even though this is a well-defined um, concept midnight is the beginning of the day not the end of the day so 12 a.m. is the start of the next day a lot of people don't understand this or there's actual ambiguity where there's businesses and people who use this incorrectly and assume that midnight means tonight when it means the morning so if you say midnight on Wednesday then some people don't know what that means some people think that means it's due Wednesday morning others think it means due Wednesday night and I've actually had professional educators say that with the intent of that it means Wednesday night and then the 
actual software makes it do that morning. So just put a time in. 11.59 is a perfect time if you just want it by the end of the day. Um, but that's a little, a little rant on that. Then you can choose a topic if you have topics. Those are the section dividers in your classwork. And you also have the option to add a rubric and create a rubric in here. This is a new feature as of this year for Google Docs and Google Classroom. And essentially it lets you create the rubric. Your students can view it and then you'll actually be able to use that rubric to digitally grade them. So you can do that if you want to. For now, I have all this information in so I'm just going to hit assign. You can also schedule it if you want it to show up later or save it as a draft if you're not quite done. Okay, and so now it's assigned. The students in the classroom will be able to see it. It'll show up on the stream. And this is the teacher's view. They can't see this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flash to my phone, show you what it looks like to make a recording and upload it. And then I'll show you what it looks like to receive it. So one second. Okay, so from the perspective of your students, most of them will probably be using a mobile device. Um, there are options to record through the web browser and on iOS and, I mean, macOS and Windows, but you need to kind of work with your students and figure out a solution for each of them. iOS or in iPhones and iPads have the voice memos, which should allow you to record and then share it as a file. On Android, it varies by developer or manufacturer, but essentially there's always some sort of recording. It'll just be under a different name because it's for each of them. So for my phone, this is LG. They have the HD audio recording app. So I'm going to open that up. Now I already created this recording um, because I can't record it when I'm recording this video, but essentially it'll pop up like it was there and it'll have a, you can hit the plus and you can record and then hit the red button, there'll be a red record button and you can stop it. And it's just like using a camera essentially. But for this case, because I've already done it, I'm just going to click the file. And you can't hear it because it's going through my earphones, but essentially this is the recording. So what you need to do at this point, or the students need to do, is hit the little Pac-Man sign or those links, the share button. And then they have a few options, of course, it's on mobile. I would highly recommend always save to Google Drive or save to Drive because then they can submit it from any software, um, any device. They can go to their computer and submit it. It's not tethered to the phone then. So we're going to hit save to Drive. Oh, and I'm going to try that again because it disappeared. Okay, so when Save to Drive comes up, it gives them the option to name it. So this is, I'm going to say this too records, just something random. They don't need the file name in there, but you could put the file extension if you want. The students need to pick an account, so they should click the account button and make sure they're doing this via their school account, because that's the only account that can access Classroom. And then if they want to pick a folder, they can click the folder button and select a folder. That's a good thing to encourage, have them organized. So at this point, they can just hit save. And it is now uploaded and it'll take a second, but it'll just upload. So at the top, you saw the little drive icon and now it's an upwards arrow. That means that the recording is uploaded to Google Drive. So now I'm gonna show you how the student might submit it on their phone. But as I said, they can do this via any classroom interface now because it's in Google Drive, so it's attached to their account. So I'm going to open the classroom app, and I'll back up here. So classes, they should be able to pick their class, whatnot, so I'm going to the digital classroom tutorials, and hey, we can see the assignment we just created, I believe. Yeah, that's the one. So we'll hit audio assignment test. And um, this is where you can see the instructions and this is what the student sees. So audio assignment intro, I could click that and view the instructions. That's that file I attached. But at the point of submission of the assignment, they're gonna hit that upward arrow and they're able to put comments in here if they need. They can also do add attachment. And this is where they have the choice. They can attach all sorts of files for assignments, including take it, a photo directly in here. 
or upload in a file but what you want them to do is go to drive and this is why you send it to drive because then they don't have they're not tethered to their phone they could do this on another device so i'm going to hit drive and then i'm going to hit oh, wrong button they can click my drive and browse the folders or you can just go recent and you can say this to record so if they do this right away they'll see their file right at the top because it's the recent file another handy reason by doing google drive but they could also go through their folders and find it that way here is my student comment so they could say something if they have something to say and then they can just hit hand in and make sure they do that make sure to emphasize they need to say hand in your work and hand in this gives you a notification that their work is now submitted. So now you can see work submitted. The student side is done. And now you can go and do what you need to do on your end to grade it. So I'm going to bounce back to the computer. Okay, so we're back to our classroom. As you just saw, the student submitted the file. And so now from your end of things, you might get an email. And I'm actually going to quickly check that. You should get an email when the student submits an assignment or at least adds a comment. So you'll for sure get it for comments. You might not see it for actual submissions, but you can change your notifications for that. But essentially now, if you want to go and check, you can go to the assignment either through the stream or classwork tab. And this is what you'll see. You'll have your student list on the left hand and then a bunch of files just in the middle here. So we want to view the one that was submitted, so we're going to click the student's name here. And you can see the student comment and the recording. So now if you hit the recording, you're going to get this. This is the grading page in Google Classroom, of course. So now you're able to actually click in here and view it. This is a test for the audio recording for Google Classroom, so I can... So as you see, you can hear it right there. It's built right in. You're still in your web browser. You're not needing to switch applications now. So on the teacher end of things, this is a lot nicer. If you did need to download them and listen to them on the fly, you can always download there, just like a PDF. So now you have the option to give them a grade. So this was just a test submission. So I'm just going to say 10 out of 10. You can give them written feedback using the add private comment. So, awesome. Post. And then, otherwise, you can hit return here, or there's sometimes other options, so you can do return multiple submissions. The multiple submissions one is if you went through every single one, usually I just hit return right away. Now if you add multiple students, now you can hit the next student and you can just keep going through every single one and do it all right in this page. Now on the student side, they'll get a notification on their phone now and in their email that you've returned that with a comment. They can go view their grade and whatnot and reply back on the comment if you need. So that is how to submit an audio recording as an assignment on Google Classroom. And just one last thing I wanted to show, so now that you've submitted that, if you left and you come back to your classroom, now you have a grades tab you can go to. And I just wanted to show this because there's grading systems built in. You can now see the assignments, they're built in as columns, and then the student names as rows, and you can actually see the grade there. You can click on the ind individual student's grade and you can hit view submission and jump right back in. So then you don't need to be searching for stuff. You can view this as the grade and you can change the submission or add a comments, whatnot, change the grade that way. So just so you know, it's a nice overview for seeing what it looks like when you have a bunch of assignments and stuff built in. You can jump back if you need to review something. So have a wonderful day and I hope this helps with audio submissions.